Richie Kotzen is here. He is. A master of the axe. So what's the hypothetical question? The hypothetical question is, if you could go back in time or bounce around history, rock history, and hold and play the one true immortal guitar, either through the music that was played through it or the man who was playing it, alive or dead, which guitar would that be? Uh, the white guitar that Jimi Hendrix played in the famous, uh, when he was playing the anthem. The Star Sackle Banner at Woodstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that guitar. Yeah. That guitar. Yeah. yeah. And the other one would be the guitar that George Benson was playing when I saw him when I was a kid. That, that, well, he played an Ibanez, I think. Whatever. Around the Breezen era, I'd like to play that guitar, too. Yeah. 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 That's an amazing contrast, the jazzy Benson. Well, you know, ben, George, to me, he's the greatest guitar player of all time. I, I, I saw him and Stevie Wonder about a month or two apart when I was a kid in Valley Forge and it was a round stage and it turned, you know, and uh, that really, two of the best shows I ever saw, I never forget it. Well, they, they it's really cool. To, it's really cool to hear a rock player say how much they love a jazz player. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, he was one of my big influences, and, well, a lot of people, you know, I, I, but in my household, I listened, I, my parents played a lot of soul and R&B music. And I grew up outside of Philadelphia, so I heard it on the radio as well. So, although I'm a rocker, don't get me wrong, <laughs> um, I I think a lot of my uh, development, you know, in music came from listening to that. Yeah, early I can appreciate stuff. that. Yeah. I'm a rocker. I grew up in a family though that played bluegrass and country, so I love all of that music too. Yeah. But my generation was all rock and prog rock, so. I think you know you. It's what your environment, your environment influences you, obviously, you know, so. Sure. Well, well I well, grew I up on Steve Hackett and Steve Howe. That's why oh, I'm so yeah. spaced out. There you go. There you go. And I also grew up on Chet Atkins, my father's favorite guitar player. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I'm pleased to say that I do have a George Benson guitar in my next book, which is Mortal and Immortal Guitars, and why we're asking this question, because this book has B.B. King, uh, Bo Diddley, Kirk, uh, sorry, Kirk, Kirk Cobain, uh, Elvis Presley, so many amazing players that have passed away and their music has been immortalized by the wood and strings of the guitar that they right, play. Right, that's right. So the, the guitar, even though they're not here anymore, still holds that music. Magic, right, sure, yeah. I, I believe that as well. That's it, buddy, you're off. Hey, yeah, thank right you, on. Richie. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Thanks, Richie.